Hello my sob friends, my name is Gary and this is my channel Weakest of Weeks where I have a lot of content out there. My prime content is in fact sob stuff. So this video is going to be about sobs and specifically an awesome resource that I absolutely loved. Well unfortunately it has now changed. So if you've watched my previous video about my most favorite or the best resources for a sob enthusiast or sob owner, well, then you are familiar with this specific website. Now, I'm not going to mention it just quite yet, but to give you a background, this is my daily driver, 2008 Saab 93 Aero, 2.8 liter V6, six-speed manual, and this is its twin almost in different clothing. So this is laser red, this is fusion blue, this has the cream interior, while well, this has the authentic black interior. Now, this specific resource hits near and dear because it is the deciding factor why I picked up this specific project car and if you're not familiar for a long time subscriber you're already aware of my project car uh, if you're not go ahead and click up top here and that's going to be the playlist of what has been done to the car and what is currently being done so there's videos that are going to be coming out here shortly and i'm continually updating on that so it's a work in progress but this specific resource is the main reason why i was able to pick up this car so whenever i was looking at purchasing this project car I actually I found it on Facebook Marketplace and there was a couple photos but they weren't too spectacular. The different angles, they showed the factory wheel, they definitely didn't show the bumper falling off or the fact that the car was delivered without a front bumper altogether, but then there was a generic photo of the interior. I could tell the color, it was black, the exterior. I was able to figure out based on the year it was fusion blue metallic, but I wasn't 100% certain on the options the car specifically had. The person that I bought it off of, they weren't a Saab enthusiast and they picked it up from somebody else not running, so they pretty much just wanted to offload the car. So I wanted more specifics before I purchased the car. So the photo of the interior did not show the shifter, whether it was automatic or manual. In the listing, it showed automatic, but I was able to utilize this resource, punch the VIN number in there, and find out a whole slew of information, which kicked back options like the auto leveling Xenon headlights, the brake codes, the auto dim rear view mirror, the special B50 leather interior, and most important to me, the six-speed manual transmission. So at that point, I realized that I really wanted this car. It just came out of the price, which ultimately we decided on a great price. It was delivered to my door, and the rest is now history. I'm the proud owner of another 2008 Sub 93 Aero six-speed manual. So that is why I'm showing you these photos. But a website that's been near and dear to my heart in my Saab journeys, especially with trying to source specific parts or specific options, is the SaabSite.com. Now, they are changing for the better. They are combining with some other stuff, and it's becoming a bigger and better resource. However, unfortunately, at this point in time, we have lost the VIN search function. So, I'll show you a clip from my video right here where I talk about the best resources for Saab owners. That is by yours truly. Here's what the Saab site used to look like. Punch in the VIN, you can drill down, and you can find all sorts of options that you didn't even realize your car had. Everything from auto dim mirrors, xenon headlights, power fold mirrors, the list goes on and on. But, well, unfortunately, that is no longer available to search. This has been an awesome website for a number of years and unfortunately is changing, but not all is lost. So now when you click on the website, it directs you to this, which in turn directs you to their new latest and greatest form, which is sobparts.com. So it is an entirely different format from what it was before as far as the VIN search, because before in the top left, there was a search and you can just punch in the VIN number and go from there. Very simple. Well, today in this specific video, I'm going to show you that it is back and it is back in its old form. A little scrambled, but in similar fashion and it'll be just as useful as before. So unfortunately, what you need to do now is you're going to have to sign up for the website, which is super simple. I am actually not registered at this point in time. I'm going to become a member. So we'll go ahead and input this information. So now that you became a member, super simple, doesn't cost a single thing. Well, here is that beloved Saab VIN decoder. Go ahead and click on that. Let's punch in a VIN and see where that gets us. So here we are. 
Got the VIN number punched in. This is for practically a base model car, but it's gonna give us exactly what you need and more. So it gives us the year. This specific 9.3 is a 2003 US car, sedan, uh, color code steel gray. I'm not sure, we'll have to drill down to see if we can find the actual paint code, but it, but it tells us it's got a sunroof. Being a US car, obviously it's gonna be left-hand steering. This specific one is a five-speed manual because it is the older version 9.3. It is only going to be a five-speed and not a six-speed manual. It tells you it's the 2.0 liter B207L. So this is a good one whenever I'm looking at cars and junkyards, if in fact it does have the wheels on it. If I'm looking for something specific, gives you the size. This is another one I like to pay attention to. This specific car has halogen headlights. I'm not sure what year Xenon was an option, but if I'm looking for a car in a junkyard, normally I don't really have any interest in the halogen headlights. Talks about the exterior mirrors. Those are manual fold without parking assist. If that strikes your fancy, just two-wheel drive. This car is not the cross-wheel drive, but again, this being a 2003, that wasn't even remotely a thought for the 9.3s, so continuing on without rain sensors, number of speakers, single slot and dash, interior trim color right there, and you can actually Google that and find a little more information on that. And then another important one would be without navigation. So even though this is a little bit different than the original Saab Sight Fin Decoder, everything is there you just have a different format. As far as information, everything you may possibly want to know is still contained within this. Even though things are changing, just note that Saab websites and Saab resources are now combining forces to become bigger and better than ever. So if you followed my instructions on the best resources Saab video I put out, and you went to the Saab site recently and you couldn't search a VIN, well look no further. All you have to do is go to sobparts.com, start a free membership, and now you can search all the VINs that you wanted and then some, so don't be disappointed. So if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I wanted to keep it rather short because I have bigger and better things to do at this point. I need to do a lot of work on this. I'm actually going to be swapping the interiors, so that'll be coming up here shortly, and I'll be providing an update as well, so be sure to subscribe for that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop a comment down below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.